Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Juliana and today we're going to be doing two strawberries, a simple composition in watercolor. And this took me a lot, a lot of practice. You can see here all of the sketches that I made before, but at the end I was satisfied with the outcome. I was able to do something interesting. Um, you can tell it's a beginner's uh, watercolor painting, but for me, um, I am very proud of it. So the first thing that I did was to draw the strawberries. I drew two, one a little bit behind the other, just to make it a, li a little bit more interesting. And after a lot of practice, I was able to very easily drew them. And I added some leaves on the top. And I just try to keep it simple at this point. After that, what I did was try to um, see ahead where I wanted the highlights of the strawberries. I mean, which side is going to be the lightest. And then I left that space empty and I colored the rest of it. I used, I didn't use a straight up red color at the beginning. That is something that I also learned with all of the sketches that I did. In order for me, in order for me to be able to layer, I needed to um, use different colors. Not, not exactly the color that the object or the fruit or whatever I'm doing looks like in the reality because painting is all about uh, lights darks and shapes and it's not it's not exactly what it is in the reality it's not a picture it's a drawing and it's an interpretation of what you're seeing or what you're imagining so the, the next part that I did based on that was to use different layers, different colors. I used for the lightest part, well the lightest part was gonna be white, just the plain paper, but then there are other parts that are not the lightest but they are lighter than the, the red part, let's say, of the strawberry. So I used a yellow for those ones and then for the darkest sides, I now I use red to kind of highlight and mix with that orange that I used at the beginning. And so you can start seeing that it's a, a red object. And I was also careful to leave some white spaces because this is going to be very important for the final result. Because this way you can start adding volume to the object so it doesn't look as plain as just uh, to the painting okay so i left that part to dry because that's something else that i learned i was not allowing the paintings to dry i was too anxious to finish to continue so at the end i couldn't make the results the effects that i wanted because I was never letting it dry. So I let the strawberry itself dry a little bit and I start I started working on the leaves. I tried to add some yellow, some green, different uh, tones of green. I'm not sure how uh, the leaf of a of a strawberry is. I did see a couple of reference pictures for this one but i'm not too concerned about this i just want to make something interesting at the end i kind of liked the the leaves too and i started working using the same um idea for the second strawberry the one that is a little bit behind the other one thing that i wish i would have done with the strawberry on the back is to make it a little bit darker I did um, make the dark sides darker but not the rest I should have worked on that so you can so you can see a, a little bit of or perceive a little bit of depth but I didn't 
<laughs> but I think um, the second strawberry was easier because I had already I knew exactly what I wanted to do and how to do it so basically I used the same um, the same idea first the orange then the yellow on the light parts and then the red to kind of mix with the um, orange color so you can start telling it is a red object and I blended and basically it's the same thing but you can see in the first one you can already see a little bit of um, volume you can see it looks a lot better comparing to the sketches I was doing um, before I actually started painting right away I'm able to, to see the difference right away I'm able to kind of fall in love with the with the painting and it's not even finished yet so after all of that there are still some parts that need to be darker because they are closer for example to the um, surface where where the strawberries are supposed to be so I use um, I didn't have I couldn't make a, a bigger contrast with another red so what I did was use like a purple kind of color to make the darker areas and once it's dry you can you can really see how it, how it helps the the painting and at this point i'm very satisfied with the what it's uh, looking like but i have to keep working on it i have to do the same details for the other one the other strawberries um, using a like a kind of purple color to make the darkest sh shades but on this part on this one since it was a little bit behind the other I did uh, make the dark the darker parts even more dark especially in that part like the tip of the strawberry on the front and the tip of the strawberry on the back that part where they find each other but on the strawberry on the back I did that part even darker than the rest because I guess that's where you see kind of a shadow at some point so that's why I made that part darker I also try to make a little bit of more detail with the leaves I try to use it like a, a blue color to try to make the greens and the yellows that I used before to stand out a little bit and I decided also this was just improvisation um, to use to make like a branch let's say I don't know if that's the way uh, strawberry branches are but I do not care at all I just want to make something that I feel that it's pretty so at this point I'm basically done I'm just gonna go over a few things now like a little bit of more shading here and there um, but it's pretty much done and I'm satisfied with it but um, I'm gonna make a couple of more details so it looks the whole composition looks a little bit more interesting because that also helps for you to to find it interesting and now I'm gonna make like the shadow of the surface where the strawberries are supposed to be um, I used a, I used a gray color I think it's it's a delicate color and it matches like the whole composition not exactly the colors that uh, I'm not sure but it like the tone of the gray it matches the deli delicacy that I want to show in this uh, project so I use that gray one and I try to make the, the shadows here and there 
according to where or how the strawberries are supposed to be positioned and this was gonna be like it it was gonna be the last thing that i was going to do but at the end i decided to like frame it the composition in like a circular shape and i thought it, the, the outcome was really pretty i really loved the how it helped the composition and just you know at the end i just felt here and there I, that i needed a couple of um, more details so i added a few um details a few shades a little bit of red a little bit of blending and this is the final result i'm very very pleased with what i did thank you so much for watching please like share subscribe whichever you feel more comfortable with it will really encourage me to continue creating this content bye